A controversy of a different sort in another school district. Pottsville area is making a close examination of charter schools which operate in the district. As Samantha Galvez tells us, the administration at at least one of those schools hope the district doesn't dismiss the good work it's doing. Okay, I will, uh... Charter schools are held under a lot of scrutiny. We are held, in my opinion, more accountable than a lot of traditional schools are. Nicole Hutchinson has always believed in an alternative method to learning and feels that all parents should have a say in their child's education. We're allowed to do other things. We're allowed to be experimental. That's why Pennsylvania wanted charter schools, is to bring more choice, to bring more, more voice, and also to give schools opportunity to try different things. After this month's workshop, which introduced the new committee, this left parents with much concern. We had some parents who were concerned. I mean, they were. Um, so it's nice to get some more um, information about what this committee is really about. Pottsville Superintendent Jeffries Weibel says Gillingham is not the target of the new committee and that includes cyber charter schools as well. Misconceptions out there in a community over targeting Gillingham or any cyber charters. Again, we're just trying to keep a close eye on the money. Um, just like we're held accountable by the state, we want to see that everyone else is also held accountable. Hutchinson says she feels a Gillingham representative would add value to the board in hopes of a more collaborative relationship with the Pottsville School Board. Now twice in 2010, the Pottsville Area School Board rejected proposals submitted by the Gillingham Charter Collaborative due in part to a lack of interest. But Zweibel says the budget has always been their main concern. Our intent was to help keep the public informed. First of all, the rest of our board informed as to what was going on but also get the information out in the, uh, the public's hands. Samantha Galvez, News 13, Pottsville.